Good evening, everybody. Back with the uh, Flores family, and we're back with our marmoset enclosure. So, then a little bit of adding to it. Obviously, you see, put a bottom to the actual enclosure where it's going to be. Um, if you weren't with with us the last video, um, this video or in the last video, we were talking about how the Flores family is going to get a marmoset monkey. Pretty excited about that. Doing a lot more research, talked to a couple more breeders since the last time, and I um, think we're narrowing it down. Pretty sure um, we might use a certain person. We have about two people that we're going to really right now. It just comes in uh, right time, uh, right place. So we'll see what happens uh, when our actual, we get a monkey. Um, if I didn't say in last video, we're having a lot of family come uh, for the holidays, just like everybody else. We actually live in Virginia, and most of our family lives in Texas, so they're coming over to visit us. And I mean, when I say everybody, I mean everybody. So um, it's going to be pretty exciting. Uh, so we decided that we're going to have to hold off getting our monkey until probably the beginning of next year, just because you know nurturing a new animal in our house when it's all wild and stuff. Which I will will say that if you're ever going to um, have any kind of animals and you have a big family or whatever. Don't shy away from having your animals around all that because when it does happen, they're going to freak out. So you might as well put them in there. Um, uh, I guess just start it off uh, crazy. But with this monkey, we're, you know, we've never done it before. So we're going to try to learn and we'd, we want to give us the best po possibility of um, our baby's um, care. So um, anyway, into our enclosure, as you see back behind me, the last video, all I had was just the frame, and I decided that it's going to be some doors. So we're going to have some doors here. We're going to have to uh, screen them. Um, I'm going to get to that eventually. If anybody has any kind of particular brand or anything, that y'all want to comment and say, hey, this is the one I want to use. All right. But... I've been talking to people and it looks like between like half inch to one inch by one inch is going to be the best uh, case scenario for our monkey. Um, I know it's you know, been said that, you know, wood cage is going to be uh, kind of not a good idea, but we're going to see, you know, um, basically, I, like I said in the last video, I am a carpenter. I do work on furniture and I have basically spent so far in this um, enclosure probably about 15 to 20 bucks. So, and that's probably just for hardware and some extra piece of wood. I mean, basically everything else is just extra scrap wood that I've had. It's all good oak. Um, well, the doors are oak and then we added all the pine uh, for the frame. So, anyway, that stuff doesn't really matter. Um, like I said last video, if you have any comments, I guess um, I'll take your concerns. Um, try to be uh, nice to us. Uh, this, our kids do watch these videos and they are going to read some of the comments. So um, just uh, give us what you think. We're going to go with the uh, farmhouse style with this, and I'm pretty excited. We've been doing more research, finding more stuff. Also, if anybody has a marmoset in the Virginia area and would like us to come cuddle it and pet it, pet it uh, we're, we're more than welcome to come do that. Um, anyway, uh, I think that's about all that we have tonight. I think next video... We might even give you the name that we thought of for our baby mama set. I don't know. But hopefully you'll meet the other half of the adult Flores family. Mrs. Flo. Um, she's, I think she's ready to come into the videos. She's pretty excited, ready to jump in. And um, I think if you give us a bunch of likes, she might even come in sooner in video than maybe the next one. Maybe we'll make a new video just for her. Anyway, um... Thank you and have a good night.